Well, welcome back to Benetsuchi Lightning. Let's talk a little bit more about light. And today we're going to be using um, stretch of nodes to generate light. So with light, um, if you are doing it manually, you go Shift A and create light, right? And you can you can create a point light, directional light, um, all the the usual uh, light that you find in in three D package. So with stretch of, you actually have nodes that's dealing with light, it's called light viewer. Okay, so with light viewer, you can generate uh, light on the fly. First, you choose what type of light you want, point, sun, spotlight, area, etc. Let's start with a point. Let's create a, maybe lights that's random. Just one single light put randomly in space. So suddenly we have light that's placed randomly. If I turn on a viewer here, now you, if you want to see the position of the light, you can do that. Let me select the light. Um, am I in object mode? Yes, I am. So the light is somewhere. You can't really see it, but the easiest way to see the light is to use maybe like an icosphere and then mesh viewer and simply use the same vector positions as the light. So, okay, apparently the light is somewhere there. It's a bit far. Let me reduce this light. Okay, the icosphere is going to be covering the light. So I'm going to make it super small. And with the icosphere, really, what I should do is to create a material. So this is the icosphere. I'm going to assign it a material. Maybe with emissions like 1.5. So it's going to be glowing. So this is a... I call this material glow. I'm going to assign it to... Our objects. So we have icosphere and make it really small. And we can, yeah, we already have bloom. So this is our light. We can position it wherever we want. We can scale the positions. Let me make it 0 0.02. Oh, I know why. My character is not in the not in the center, so that's why our light is down there at the bottom. But we can always kind of put it, try to put it there near our character. Uh, Let me try. If I make multiple light like that, okay, you can see. Okay, that's the position of the the center of our light. So I'm gonna use move, kind of offset the position of this light. Move it up there, so the character is becoming centered, and we can now control the light and reposition properly. Okay, the light viewer itself is quite quite special. It has this strength, so I can control the strength of the light simply by using this value. You can actually randomize this string as well per light and that's I think and I think that's really really quite cool to be able to do that very very easily. So this is what I want to have. Pretty cool. And the color of the light you can change it on the fly. So it will be nice if this is also affecting the shader 
the point line but in this case uh, we don't worry too much about that if you want to have a random color you can do that simply by using color in so again color in you can have RGB with random value so we can we can have uh, so from this random vector we can remap it into this vector RGB let's try doing that oops sorry vector out so random vector <clears throat> let's make a 10 point light plug this into RGB and this goes into the color oh apparently we only get a single color okay in that case we need to split we need to split the color here split the vector into this light and there you go so random this vector color is giving a random value for the RGB of the point light it might not be too obvious sometimes oh by the way the point light also have size the bigger softer smaller the stronger the shadow so that's the strength yeah I think it's, it's giving a random color so yeah so that's basically uh, what this light viewer does you can play around with all the other attributes like instead of using point you can use sunlight spotlight spotlight is cool if you because spotlight tends to have direction so if you actually with the origin here instead of just plugging the vector into the origin if you use matrix in or matrix let's try matrix normal If you do it like this, hopefully we have spotlight that's kind of pointing somewhere. So that's actually a spotlight and we can control the spotlight size, spotlight blending, the strength. Ah, okay. Spotlight. We have multiple spotlight. It's quite difficult to see. But Anyhow, it gives uh, an interesting look. So remember, uh, if you learn about 3D basics and about 3-point lighting, this is 10-point light. You get all kind of random results. Maybe it can be some kind of presets, I don't know. And with our light here, of course, we can change the color, right? Um, change the base color. Oh, we need to do that in the in the emission. So this can change color based on the random color here. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that here for now. Just make it glow. So it's almost like yeah. If you look at this, it's almost like Christmas in a way and if you like this light position and you want to turn it into like a firefly you can do that also quite easily just plug this random into vector noise oh actually don't do that use noise displays instead so we can kind of animate it nicely So what I did just then allows me to animate the light, just like a firefly. But it's because the noise is controlling um, the value, you get this nice smooth uh, transition between position. And you can actually control how far you want from original position of the light. 
pretty nice. And then if you want to have this noise value to control the randomness also, you can plug this output into the color. So now this random noise and position also changing. It has really cool effect. And yeah, so far, overall, I, I really like this. Um, if I plug a frame into this guy, into the vector, give it a scalar math, you can have a nice smooth motion. Oops. Yeah, a little bit like that. So, if I make it full screen, oh, okay, it's actually slower as full screen. I don't know why, but it happens to be like that. So, yeah. So, this is my character surrounded by random color firefly. And I think it's kind of nice, so I'm going to stay, stay here for a while. Yeah, so it's uh, very easy if you want to add more or less points to get a 50 fireflies. It's kind of nice. So, right, so yeah, there you go. That's <clears throat> how you, uh, if you want to use stretch of nodes, uh, stretch of light viewer nodes in Blender to generate your light. Hopefully, you find this useful. Uh, let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.